A bit of food scarcity can actually sharpen your mind. Your brain's a hybrid vehicle. It grew, it evolved through thousands and thousands and thousands of years of lots of food scarcity. You didn't eat all the time. And so it's got a backup mechanism called ketones. So after 16 hours, if you don't put glucose in and the liver's done the releasing the glucose it's held on to, then it'll start burning fat. It'll clip off those oxygens and hydrogens and they'll make ketones out of it. It was intermittent fasting by necessity. Yeah. If you think about it, just conceptually, it's just another hypothesis. If during times of hunger you were less sharp or lack of food made you dull, rather than sharpen your wits about where the lion was, or where the other, where was the berry, where was the fruit, where were the shellfish in Southern South Africa. If it made you dull, that wouldn't be a positive thing. So I think, I think it makes intuitive sense also that just a little bit, and with all respect, I know people can't get food throughout the world, or travel the world. I know there's bad food everywhere, but at an intellectual level, for people trying to take it to the next level, a bit of food scarcity can actually sharpen your mind. So I was in Ukraine and when they don't have medicine or a type of seizures, they would just feed them all fat diet. You could smell it in the hospitals. So something about an all fat diet forcing you into just using ketones. Now intermittent fasting is back and forth, glucose and then ketones, glucose and then ketones. But for kids, if you just get them almost nearly all ketone as the source that goes up to the brain through an all fat diet, mm -hmm. their seizure rates go down you know so that's proof that food changes mind because the mind is the electricity sparking through that flesh food will change the electricity detectable measurable electricity in your brain food affects mind food affects brain with that premise we can talk about okay mind diet will hold off dementia and intermittent fasting might make you feel like you've had a cup of coffee once you get into rhythm on it. It's not gonna make you smarter, but it'll bring you to your most focused, to bring you to your most attentive. It's not, oh, I'm intermittent fasting and now I can do physics. It's, it's, it's not like that. It's your personal best 